The external import feature is designed to import a variety of different video formats that have been captured and saved outside of RightView Pro. The external import feature is meant for clips that are compressed in formats like MPEG, MOV, MP4, etc. Not all types of video can be imported. The first step is to browse for the clips that you would like to analyze. Click Browse for Files to Import. You can choose one or more clips to import. Let's choose just one clip first to see if we need to make any adjustments before importing multiple clips. After the clip is chosen, click Import. Underneath Import, you will see the import in progress. When the import is complete, you will receive a done message. While the clip is processing, it should be noted that the RVP import system will do its best to import the video at 60 fields, but anytime video is altered or recompressed, there will be some loss in quality. Well, we've received our done message, so now click Return to analyze the clip in the main analysis system. The clip will be located in the front tab of the student folder that you currently have open. As you can see, the clip that I imported has the same name as when I imported it, with a 1 added to the extension. Let's see if we need to make any adjustments. Just drag and drop the video into the screen and check for skipping frames or distortion. This video looks pretty washed out, with bad shutter speed. But it's not distorted, it's just the quality of the video. Now let's step it forward to check for skipping frames. As I step forward, the video is moving forward one frame for every two clicks of my mouse. This we can fix. Let's return to the external import and re-import this clip with adjustments. We will follow the same procedures as the original process. However, this time, let's fine-tune the import. Our diagnosis of the last import was that the video was only advancing one frame for every two clicks of my mouse. So we'll check the first box and then Import with Adjustments button. Let's go take a look. As you can see, the video is the same name, but with a number two this time. Let's see if our adjustments did the trick. I'm stepping forward and the video is moving forward at the same rate. The import's complete. This concludes the external import tutorial. Keep in mind that the hard disk camera technologies are ever changing. Keeping your personal computers up to date with the latest operating system updates is a critical component to enjoying a seamless experience with the wide variety of video formats available today.